In this video, I'll talk about arc length and surface of revolution. So the arc length refers to this idea. If we have some graph from A to B, we're looking at this graph between X values of A and B, then what is this length along the graph? What is this length? Well, it turns out that that arc length equals, this length equals the integral of the square root of 1 plus dy dx, or I'll just write f prime of x, that's the first derivative of f of x, and that is squared, and then dx, and this is evaluated from a to b, that a to b that, that we're looking at. So in the first example, we're, said, we're, we're given this function, f of x equals 3x, and I kept it kind of easy so that, uh, so that we could just use this as a kind of a training wheels. Find the length of the graph from 0 to 2. Well, it's just going to be the hypotenuse of a triangle, but let's, uh, let's use this to verify um, that we can do it. So the length equals the integral from 0 to 2 of the square root of 1 plus 3 quantity squared dx. And where does this 3 come from? Well, if f of x is 3x, then f prime of x equals just 3. And, and that's what's going in right here. And we are squaring that. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty easy one. We've got the length equals the integral from 0 to 2 of the uh, square root of 10 dx. So that is evaluated as square root of 10 and then x evaluated from 0 to 2. That equals square root of 10 times 2 minus the square root of 10 times 0. So 2 square roots of 10. That's our length. Length equals 2 square roots of 10. And obviously this, uh, the first graph I, I drew here is not 3x. That was just a, a general case. All right, so we've answered A. Now find the surface area if that arc length is rotated about the x-axis. Now again, going general here, rotating a, the, again, this is not 3x, but the, just some general uh, graph. If we were to rotate that about the x-axis, then we would have this kind of come out of the screen at you. It would be a band. You could think of it like that, like a band around a barrel or something. And you're finding this surface area about that whole thing. Well, surface area of a soda can is not too difficult, but when things are are moving like this, or the surface is not just some, some cylinder, um, then we're going to need some calculus. And again, this, this function is, is kind of an easy one, but I'm going to give you this formula, the, the area of, of that arc length when it's revolved about the x-axis. It's different if it's revolved around the y-axis, but if it's revolved around the, or rotated about the x-axis, then that area is equal to the integral from a to b of 2 pi times f of x, not f prime here, but just f of x, times what we had up here, the square root of 1 plus f prime, or dy dx. And again, this is squared. So it's the arc length, and that could be expected because, you, like, if you looked at a, a cylinder, right, that, that arc length would just be the height. So, so that's why that comes into play again. Uh, over here, when even if it's not just some simple cylinder, you're still looking at the the height, and then um, adding up 
all these different radii is, is what, what you're really doing or, or um, circumferences. Okay, uh, dx. Now, let's plug it in. We have area equals the integral from 0 to 2 of 2 pi. Now f of x is 3x. That's our f of x times the square root of, I'm just going to say 10, well, I'll write it, 1 plus 3 quantity squared dx. Put that all together and you get the area is equal to the integral of 6 pi x times the square root of 10 dx. Let's move it up here. The antiderivative of that is going to be 3x squared or 3 pi square root of 10 times x squared evaluated from 0 to 2. That is 3 pi square root of 10 times 2 squared minus 0. That's 3 pi square root of 10 times 0 squared. And in the end, the area is approximately equal to 119.22 square units, right? Because we're talking about an area here. So that's the area. And in case you wanted to check your own math, I can go ahead and give, give you this as well. This, this length is approximately equal to 6.32 units because it's a just a distance so it's not not going to be squared or cubed or anything like that